Alright, welcome back everyone, and guess what we are playing? Yes, the sequel to Enigmatis, The Ghosts of Maple Creek, and it's finally here. So I'm sure those of you who are familiar with the game are a little excited. You probably have this in bucket list already. And of course, it wouldn't be here if not for a little wonderful developer, Artifix Mundi, who of course was nice enough to provide us with this little sneak peek into their game which is out today on Big Fish. It was actually released yesterday on their website and if you're not familiar with the series, I do recommend that you check it out. There's a link and a summary down in the bottom to the website of our wonderful developer and the website to the wonderful Big Fish games down there and also playthrough for the last game is down there by um, a well-known, pretty well-known LPR named Your Gibbs and he's also got the beta up there so if you'd like to check it out yourself you can either follow the links to the websites or you can follow the links to the channel but if you'd like to check out my channel in case you're new here you're also free to check it out and it's a fairly new channel but i do have a lot of playlists up there i play a lot of new and old casual games so feel free and have fun and in the meantime we are going to check out everything here on this brand new sequel i think we got the collector's edition or also known as a premium adventure collection with that link we got the links to all their other games and some of them are already on my bucket list to play which is very long by now and then we also got our nifty extras achievements right there in the center our encyclopedia to redwood where the game is set uh-huh i'll probably read it later I got our concept art here. Cool. I was like looking at concept art. And then the wallpapers as usual. Pretty much stuff that you usually see in the premium collection. And the cutscenes for the game all right there. It's blackened out so you can't access them until the main game is over. And the music, of course, before I forget. Ah, you have an option to save them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, we are going to check our options right here. I always do when I play. Uh, I try to put my music on the middle volume. Oops. It's not really a big issue, but some games... Um, they're a little too loud. Although I'm not sure yet, but it's probably fine. It's fine. More info. There's a guide. Ooh. Strategy guide, of course. And then, credits. Ooh. Enigmatis, the Miss of Ravenwood, Collector's Edition. These are the awesome people behind the game. And then, let's see, what else? Okay, well, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's pretty much a different environment this time from the first game, which is obviously, well, dark. So, we're, for now, I know you're excited push the play button that's the bonus chapter obviously and I always play on casual because I'm not an advanced nor an expert gamer and I like to have fun so there you go it's been two years since the events of Maple Creek and I'm still on the hunt for the evil preacher so far the murderer stayed one step ahead but I have a lead. There are rumors of people disappearing mysteriously on the West Coast. The situation sounds familiar, but could it just be a coincidence? 
What on earth happened here? There's no evidence of a car crash, but that camper trailer is clearly damaged. What? How? Oh, I've never seen marks quite like that. Okay. Would you like some interactive help? Um, before I answer that, I'm gonna let you guys know that I really don't know how long this game little gameplay review is going to be. So, for the meantime, we are going to play at least like 30 minutes for this episode. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and shall we say yes or no. I played a beta. I didn't record it though. So, what shall we do? Yes or no? Yes or no? Um, let's try no. Haha. -ha. Flare. First aid kit of love me the key as usual and we can lock our inventory. And look at our hand. Ooh, is it a lock or something? Or a locket. And we have the evidence board as usual. Yep, it's the old evidence board. Our journal is here. Objectives. Find out what happened at park gates before your arrival. Notes, the crime scene. Driving toward the west coast in hope of finding the evil feature when I swerve for a fog-like phenomenon or an overactive imagination. Immediately after, I came upon Ravenwood Park and an abandoned camper. It's in bad shape, but I don't think it was in an accident. Of course not. Doesn't look like one, doesn't it? So, we need a key for that. We'll go ahead and look at this. Child's backpack abandoned near the entrance of the park. Oh, that should be entrance. Probably a little minor typo there. Ravenwood, Redwood Carving Heritage Park. Morphing? These things morphing? Am I seeing things? Did that statue just look at me? Well, I would say yes. Becky, my little butterfly. Who is this girl? What happened to her? Hmm. Pretty sure that went to the evidence board. No one would leave their purse at the entrance. A backpack maybe, but not the purse. California! Driver's license. She's from California. Rachel Simpson. The, the Golden Coast. Hmm. Expires 5-22-15. Okay. Just a regular driver license. Car keys. Oh no, camper keys. Okay, okay. The gate to Ravenwood Park won't budge and frankly, I'm in no hurry to go inside. My truck! She may not be a beauty, but she's mine. Yeah, I know. Some people love their cars and trucks, no matter how old they are. The door to the camper trailer is locked. Well, we're in luck. Into the camper we go. This is a mess. This looks like my room in the morning. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Charlie and his angels. Evidence collected 3 out of 26. Oh, Cute. She's cute. I see a key that it down the track and reach it with my hand. How about the flare? No. Yep. Let's try something different. Of course. Can I pick up the glass here? Obviously not. Oh, look at that. You guys remember what that is? Sure you all know. Hmm. Ah. 
That kind of surprised me, though. I've mom. seen the beta. You're not my mom. Where is she? It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Let's get you out of there. Come on. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm here to help. Can you tell me what happened? My mom. She's gone. I'm scared. Is your name Becky? Becky, you're safe with me now. Take a deep breath and try to tell me again. Where's my mom? I want to talk to my mom. Hmm. My mom. She's gone. I'm scared. Cute little girl. And when you back out, we have a new objective. I like objectives. Just like in the first game. You know, just so you're not totally lost. And especially for me, I do get lost. Oh, butterflies, child's drawing. Seems the young artist has a favorite cuddly toy. Fishing rod. Hmm. Ooh. We got our first aid kit key, but I want to check out. Oh, look at the graphics for this. It certainly is a different kind of environment from the first game. And it's a little bright. Which is not a bad idea. Because it makes everything stand out. Ah! What was that? I saw it earlier on the drive in. Oh, there's our first hidden object scene. Before we do that, we're gonna do this and yuppie. I like the fact that it's brighter than the first game. Makes it easier for me to walk around and I'm sure it will make it easier for me when it comes to hidden object scenes. And there you go. Hydrogen peroxide, bandage, and that's all we need from there. So shall we go back to our little girl or should we go do this? Hmm. Let's check out the hidden object scene. And it's a silhouette scene. So that should be fairly easy. And they're usually interactive, so no biggie. Uh, find and use objects. Need a tool to remove the screw. The bottom panel won't stay open without the screw. Oh, it won't stay on without the screw. Sorry about that. Hmm. Needs a battery. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We forgot screw. Silly me. Wind up key. Ooh. Maybe like a clockwork mouse. Yep. Thank you very much. Padlock key. Hmm. You know what I like about this hidden object scene? I like that the objects are... Well, they're not really that spread out and that they are not too tiny. Because that's always a problem in hidden object scenes. It makes it really hard to find them. And we usually don't mind the challenge, but it gets really frustrating when all of your objects are all spread out and they're too tiny and they're against a really dark environment. And then we got that. Need a needle for that. Got the shrub. Hmm, need to dry it. Oh, what's this? 
needle. Oh. Okay, now we know. Need a little needle for the thread. We need to give the bear his paw. And we need to sew it together. Put the sweater on. I mean the sweater. What was I saying? I'm silly. <laughs> okay. Teddy bear! Can I keep the teddy bear? Nah. I'm not a kid. Teddy! She was a present from my mom. Oh. Better insect effect scratch for That should only sting a little. Now let's put a bandage on that scratch and make it all better. Here you go. My mom and dad are gone. A monster took them. Can a monster? Oh, sweetheart. There's no such thing as monsters. Silly detective, there are monsters. Right under your bed. Or the roof. It's all gone. The camper, my truck, Becky. Where are they? And all the other stuff, too. What is going on here? Please tell me I'm hallucinating. Uh huh. Objective accomplished, girl. And you have a new objective. Find out what happened. The alarm clock from the camper. Wait, only 20 minutes have passed? Then why is it so bright all of a sudden? Everything is bright, well, compared to the first game. I really hope the sunlight was playing tricks on my eyes. Ooh, sunlight, and the park gate is open. Looks like someone cleared this place of evidence, but who? Well, that's not spooky at all. I don't remember that much wildlife here before I lost consciousness. Yep, totally not spooky. Like the last game. Oh. Welcome to Ravenwood Park, ma'am. I'm Gerald Whitmarsh, the owner. Mm, a missing family, a stolen camper, a monstrous creature. Outside my park, though I'm sorry to say we didn't see anything. We only opened a few minutes ago. Hmm, seems I left my cell phone in my mansion on the other side of the valley. I'll go call for help. In the meantime, why don't you relax and tour the park a bit? Take a ride on the Redwood Gondola, free of charge. You can get a ticket here at the shop. Oh, and we've just had new maps printed. Here, take one. They look great, don't they? In any case, you can find me in my residence on the other side of the valley. And here's our map! We finally have a map! On visit place, action available, where you are here, and pot block. Okay. Hmm, I don't think I'm liking that guy at all. He is creepy to me. Park plan! There's a lot to see in this park, and the giant tree is the highlight. Uh, I'm not sure it would be too comfortable if my car was missing <laughs> and another stranger's car was missing. Welcome to the park, ma'am. I yeah, overheard yeah. you speaking to Mr. Whitmarsh. What a frightening story. I'm sorry to say, I didn't witness a thing. <laughs> Here's that Redwood Gondola ticket. You might as well enjoy the view. It'll be some time before help arrives. Oops, I think I click on a little too long. But you anyway. You forgot to take your ticket, ma'am. And please enjoy your stay while you wait for help to arrive. Okay, okay. 
cable car, museum woodworking. Hmm. Redwood gondola ticket. Something's wrong here. Everyone's too friendly and cheerful. I should have a look around. Yeah. Everyone's too friendly and cheerful and there's not much people around. Where are we going back? Silly me. To the forest path. Ooh. I'm kind of a little um surprise maybe from from playing the first game uh, it's all well probably all new to me because everything in that game it was a good game and it was a little dark environment so this is really something that set us apart from the first game everything here is like really bright and crisp Where do we go? Really don't like that guy. Hmm. Glass cutter. Better stop searching the box or the guy will finally see me. Eh, who cares? Fresh supply of the souvenirs. Good morning, ma'am. When the museum opens in a few minutes, you can go up and ride the gondola. Sheesh, what kind of park is this? Selling a few tickets. Well, it's probably not much of a concern. I'm sure there are other parks just like that. Considering it seems like a pretty big park. Ooh. Let's look at the map. Hmm. Park entrance, glass cutter, gondola ticket, which we can use. Lumberjack, must be a part of Langer exit middle of the park. Redwood gondola ride. We're taking a look at our evidence board. Hmm. Oh, you can move it around just like the first game. Okay, that is nifty. Now, what we do here? There's a lot to see in the park and the giant trees to highlight. Mm-hmm. Who are we? Please enjoy your stay at the park while you wait for help to arrive. Okay, we're catching butterflies. <laughs> enjoy your stay at the park? I kind of want to enjoy their stay. Craving is buried under the moss. Carving, I mean. What the? Park entrance. Ooh. Strange, the charges seem to be a different position when I first arrived. Yes, it is! Mm -hmm. What I want to see? Mm. Wonder if this symbol has any meaning. If it's jumpable. Yes, it is. Um. Oh. 
Do we have anything else? <laughs> Not here. The gondola. And where is the stuff? I'm looking for. Oops. I thought I saw a butterfly. Raywood <laughs> snack bar. Close for renovation. Okay, fine. The butterfly pendant. Becky was wearing it around her neck. Hi, Mom. She's gone. I'm scared. What's it doing under the snack bar door? Is Becky in there? But they all claimed not to have seen a thing. Uh-huh. That's what we all say. <laughs> Snack bar is locked on the inside. Glass cutter. Haha. -ha. Is there food? How come it was locked from the inside if there's no other exit? Or is there? Hmm, there must be another exit. But anyway, this is the snack bar and it's look uh doesn't look the least bit interesting to me. I would not be going to the snack bar. I'd be looking for donuts. And they don't appear to have any donuts. Hmm. Trapdoor token. Hello? Was someone watching me through the window, or did I imagine that too? Nope. Totally someone creepy watching us. An old crossbow missing its bowstring. What the? There's a circular slot in the middle. Might be a keyhole. And there we have it. This is our first puzzle and as a general rule um i always so try to solve my puzzles no matter how many minutes it takes me to do so um unfortunately there are instances where us gamers um sometimes get a little frustrated so we tend to hit the skip button or the hint button whatever but doesn't really happen all the time and it's not really a big issue. The big issue for me during puzzles is when they're all over the place and they serve practically little or no use. Fortunately, that really doesn't happen all the, all the time. So it's not really a big issue. Um, for now, we are going to have to pause here because I'm, I'm running a late. And we will be tackling this puzzle in the next episode. So I'll be seeing you guys for that. Until then.